as we were cruising east, we saw some, uh, some smoke come from the area of Mesa High and we joked with each other saying, hey, I bet you Westwood burned down the school, you know, because we beat them and knocked them out of uh, being number one. And so we were joking about that, but as we got closer and closer, we said, oh, it really is burning. There was lots of traditions that Mesa High had, and most of the traditions, as far as I could tell, as a sophomore, were tied into the actual building. Don't walk on the grass. Don't step on the seal. Keep the seal cleaned. All sorts of uh, different types of rallies, different types of traditions, and they were all tied into Old Main. And so when Old Main gone, then everyone began to question, well, what are we doing this for? There's no building here anymore. Why does it matter? And that kind of all went w with the uh, theme of America at that time, because you have to realize we were in the heavy throes of the Vietnam War, and all the young people were questioning authority. And so all of a sudden, our traditions got ripped out from under us, and so there was no reason to do the traditions anymore, and so those went by the wayside very quickly. Looking back on Old Main burning, I think it was traumatic at the time. Overall, it was a good thing. It brought the community together, and also it moved the, uh, the school board and the people of Mesa to I, they probably had already uh, plans for a new Mesa High, but it just forced the issue. They says, okay, let's go ahead and make this happen now. So by 1973, uh, the new Mesa High was functioning and having classes there, and it probably wouldn't have happened as fast if uh, it hadn't burned. So that was a good thing. That was a very good thing.